One, two, three, and... up today hoping to do Black Bear Pass but unfortunately both sides of Black Bear Pass are now closed um, so we were unable to do Black Bear Pass at all so we were kind of depressed about that but we decided to go hit up Stony Pass um, one that I'd never even heard of but rumor has it there was bears and it is a uh, hits the Continental Divide part of the Alpine Loop First off, we're taking this little offshoot so we didn't drive highway back. And I'm going to tell you what, this little offshoot to get to the Stony Pass Road was one of the most beautiful roads that we'd driven on the entire weekend. Here we are in this glorious, I mean, it's beautiful setting. You got your mom up here looking amazing. You got the rooftop tent on, you got the trail racks, rack. We got the Vector rear rack for the bed, desktop fender liners, Terraflex wheels, Mostar tires, Warren Winch, amazing. Mom's a little dirty, but don't forget, that Viking off road sticker. Yeah, they're bedded down right there by that tree. By the one that's laid over on its side. I see two. Do you see three? No, there's only. Yeah, I see three. I see four. Oh, I do. There's two more back further back. Correct. Jenny's trying not to scare him with the drone. We got four mule deer bucks right there. Very cool to see. I hope you guys can see them on camera. Just bedded down there. Still in their velvet. Nice four point, nice three point. Good looking bucks. Oh, it's a two. All right, so we're gonna go up here to this building and see what it is it's pretty cool looking could have drove up to it but I think I'm gonna walk up there unfortunately we couldn't find any information on this old mine and what they were mining exactly or what it was called or anything like that but this is one of the coolest buildings that we actually got to see fully intact um, had a lot of electric appliances, like there was a couple of stoves, um, a lot of wood burning stuff, uh, as far as heaters and stuff like that. It was actually a really big complex or compound or whatever you want to call it. Super cool to see. Um, I mean, it was really good. I wish some of this stuff would be able to be restored and brought back to uh, all of its glory, you know, fix the floors and the walls and the roofs and everything like that because some of this stuff is truly beautiful so glad you guys got to see this uh, I did have an upstairs and a downstairs and I had a little shack off to the side which you know correlates more or less to a bunkhouse uh, single room and with a bunk on the top bed here you'll get to see uh, it actually was really cool this was probably my favorite room uh, maybe that's because it was the most preserved um, maybe because I like being alone but this was truly awesome to see and the views from here as you can see are absolutely gorgeous
So after we took the side road and a little bit of highway, we got to Silverton. Went through Silverton all the way through back into the canyon, and now we're gonna start to head up Stony Pass. Now, in Stony Pass, we didn't actually make it all the way across the top. We just ran out of time. We spent a lot of time on an offshoot as we were up looking at a old silver tram called Buffalo Boy Tram. This is a tram where they used to send the silver ore down into uh, Silverton. Uh, I did end up speaking with some locals right after we, had, as we were leaving, and they were telling me that uh, as soon as silver was no longer the backer to the dollar, the price of silver absolutely dropped immediately. And at that point in time, the silver mining up there completely stopped. Immediately stopped. And uh, they're saying that on that tram lines, um, you can still find buckets hanging in the trees that still contain the silver ore. So we'll get a little bit farther into this here. Um, you'll see some more pictures of it and video of it. We'll actually do a complete walkthrough of it uh, here in a little bit, but just wanted to give you a little bit of history with regards to it. I didn't know, and I was just grateful that I got to actually talk to some of the locals that were there. It was really cool to see. This is absolutely gorgeous. Being able to get all the way up here and to see this type of stuff. We've almost made it all the way up to see the gods. So we went up to What's this place called? Buffalo Boy? Buffalo, Buffalo Boy? Buffalo Boy Tram? Boy what was this place called, Mark? Uh, Rocky Road Gulch. Rocky Road, oh, you're, you're, are you lying to me again? I'll double check when I get in the truck. What was, it, what was that tram? Buffalo oh, Boy? Buffalo Boy Tram, yeah. Buffalo Boy Tram. My dad here in the red snow. I don't know. There's a road down in the bottom of that one over there. There is. I love this because this is, you could see. This is I just raw. See one ridge, two ridge, three ridge. One, two, three, four ridge, four, five, five ridge, six, six ridge, seven ridges. Seven, yeah. Maybe eight. Looks like there's a point Possibly right in between eight. going that direction. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. Yeah, and we're not even on top again, right? No, we can. So, like, we're ducked down another. I mean, we're at 50 feet. 12,000 feet. Where do we at? Exactly. I got 13,031. I got 13,031 feet. Apparently, my watch face doesn't tell me. Which face do you use? I don't know. I just got it set up so that corner tells me. Hmm. My watch face sucks. You can go to the compass. The compass should tell you. And then you hit the, the top left. So. 13,024 where I'm standing. I got 1334. I also got a latitude and longitude. My watch says 1324. So you're at least 10, 1326. So you're 10 feet taller than me. Even though yeah. like, we're right at the same level. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. Oh. This is hard. This is hard. We're being droned. That's fine. We got like this right there. So here's where we get to dive into Buffalo Buffalo Boy Tram a little bit more. Uh, you can see the chute. Um, you can see a lot of the tram inner workings as we go through here, uh, all the way down to we'll catch the bearings and some of the cogs, the pulleys, the brakes. Uh, a lot of that stuff was right there underneath, right there in the bottom. And you'll get to see a lot of that in this video. So it's pretty cool. We spend a lot of time up here. It's hard to cut this down to 
what I think you guys will want to see. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this section. This was absolutely amazing on this trip to see this in all of its construct constructive glory. Uh, it truly was awesome to see and to think about them doing this, you know, in the early, early 19, late 1800s and, you know, it's just awesome. So we're coming up here on the Continental Divide at Stony Pass, so that's pretty cool. Being able to see here, oh, it looks like we may have some good weather coming in. Um, but this is awesome, 12,650 feet. Um, your mom has been put through the paces here with the rooftop tent and everything, it's gorgeous. As we work our way back down Stony Pass, keep in mind guys, this has probably been my favorite pass that we did in the Alpine Loop. And of all of the passes in the Colorado basins here, it, it really was just absolutely amazing. One, I know cameras will never do it justice. So if you're looking to go to Colorado and run some of these trails, Definitely hit Imogene Ofer Engineer, but keep a little bit of time so you can go out there and run um, Stony Pass. It really was an absolute blast. Uh, once again, guys, I want to say thanks for watching the video. Share it with your friends, especially those that are going to Colorado, so they can keep this one in mind and get get it on their list. Mm -hmm.